Next thing on the list is to talk to you guys about Safari and Mail. Safari on here comes up with seven, or not seven, nine uh, different tabs you can use for your internet likings. Here's how, uh, not necessarily a loaded website, but something pretty simple, apple.com. Let's see how fast it goes. So on about four or five seconds flat, this entire page was completely loaded, and I don't even have much battery left on this thing. It's only got like 40% battery. I know that does sometimes have a, an effect on how fast it goes. And here's a uh, count on how fast it'll go with a very packed website like CNN. And in seven seconds flat, the entire page is completely loaded, ready to go. You can watch any of the videos on here, and it works absolutely perfectly. So that's basic, too basic, the Safari application. And here's the mail on here. Um, ba here's my Tech It Now uh, mail client. And I hit inbox, and then on the left side I have all my mail, and on the right side is the actual full mail message. So you click on the mail you want, and there's the actual message. I just this message is just saying that about my Ustream uh, I just made and when you want to delete something you just hit edit and then you push that and you just push delete and then whoosh, it's gone into your trash bin and you know the trash the, the trash the mail client on here is nice and simple I'm waiting for the unified mail client that comes out with the new update this late later this year I think in September or, uh, yeah September uh, that's that's basically the Safari and Mail internet type clients. Last but not least to talk to you guys about today is basically everything else on the iPad that I need sh I should review. And I forgot to say on the last one that I want to say is that I gave two thumbs up for Safari and Mail. But as for, as for this part right here, the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is iBooks. In iBooks, it shows up as you have your little bookshelf, and then you open the books that come up with, and I have Winnie the Pooh because that was free. And I actually read some of this, and it's actually pretty cool how they have the pictures for the Winnie the Pooh and mixed in with the actual whole entire read. When you flip through the pages, it's like you actually just, instead of actually pick, picking it up, you just slide your finger across and it looks just like it, or you can have some fun with it and just kind of move it around a little bit and that's iBooks right there and then when you go back to your library you can click the store button and the bookcase will flip over and there's your uh, iBook store uh, that's hidden behind the actual iBooks application something different and that's the iBooks application now as for the calendar it looks like an actual calendar in your planner because it has the day way you can just look through your days you just push the little arrow buttons and it goes the next day you can go by the week, the whole entire week. You can go by the whole month. Or you can go by a list of everything I have on here. My friend Morgan put her birthday on it. Make sure I wouldn't forget. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to forget because of the list now. I think it's a pretty neat calendar. Another thumbs up for that. As for a thumbs up for iBooks. Next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be the contacts. Contacts. Um, contacts on here, it's just as simple as this. It's you got your people on the left, their information on the right. And when you look at this, it's just very simple and elegant and you know, it's a necessity you have on the iPad and you know, it works great. So to me, I mean, I almost think like it should just be an option to have on here. So I give it a sideways thumb only because of the fact that I think it should be an option to have on here, not a necessity. And the last thing I'm talking to you guys about is the settings. On the left, you have all the different types of settings you have, and on the right is everything you can do with it. You have Wi-Fi, notifications, brightness, and wallpaper, picture frame, general, mail, contacts, calendars, uh, as all in one, and then Safari, iPod, video, photos, store, and then whatever apps you have. Which scrolls down, um, but and most of your stuff is in your general things. And the only thing about the iPad on here that I've ever really used to do is when you switch it to white on black, which is an inverted iPad wherever you go. You know, I guess it's a cool thing to have on here. I'm not sure why you would really want that, but they put it on here for you to use. So, 
the settings on here definitely make it something a little bit more customizable than you would think. And that is to a basic, the iPad review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I know I did. So overall, I give the iPad out of a 10. I would probably give it a 9.7. A 9.7 out of 10 because of the fact, I didn't tell you guys this, on the YouTube, it doesn't give you as many... It doesn't give you as many uh, results or things to look at as it would on your website, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal, but it's still a deal. So I would knock off that a little bit, and also because of the fact of for the address book or not the address book, the contacts um, to be just a uh, not necessity, and also, I mean, even same thing goes for notes. But you know, notes is notes, and you know, you open notes, there's notes. It's just that. And but I guess I guess it's just an, another necessity, another Apple product. But that's the iPad review, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and talk to you later. In three, two, one, comes the outro. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it.